Prophet Tauri's changing their name again. Excuse me for the lack of glasses, but I was just having a nap. Then I read this news that Helmut Marko has confirmed that for 2024, Alpha Tauri is no longer going to be called Alpha Tauri. What it could be called? I have absolutely no idea because this is literally breaking news. But one thing's for sure, and this is literally what I see from Planet F1, is that Red Bull Motorsport Advisor Helmut Marko I say motorsport advisor, more like motorsport czar, has said that next year Alpha Tauri will be called something else. They have not revealed the name yet, but basically they're going to be following Red Bull. They're just quite clearly saying, according to his statement, that, oh, it's quite clear that we really cannot innovate by ourselves because look where we are. I mean, this is paraphrasing. Look where we are. Effectively, Red Bull is at the top of the constructors and Alpha Tauri is down there. Ow. They will follow Red Bull Racing as closely as the regulations allow. So, ooh, ooh, fighting words from Alpha Tauri here. They're going to be trying to bend the rules, as it were, sort of like the pink Mercedes days, into figuring out what they can actually get away with to just literally copy Red Bull. I mean, granted, in the Toro Rosso days, they pretty much shared a lot of components. I mean, that was one of the remits back in 2006. That caused a lot of controversy back in the day, that Toro Rosso and Red Bull was so close. But Red Bull wasn't really the behemoth as it is today, so it really didn't matter so much. But now, ooh, ooh. What does this mean exactly? This might actually fuel some speculation as to Daniel Ricciardo's future in the Red Bull family. If Alpha Tauri, or whatever it's going to be called, maybe Toro Rosso again, if they want to follow Red Bull, maybe this might be the great vehicle for Daniel Ricciardo to return without risking upsetting the likes of Sergio Perez alongside Max Verstappen in the top team. They can maybe compare Daniel Ricciardo with maybe Yuki Tsunoda, but ooh, I mean, What's going to happen with the junior drivers again? Oh dear. Ayumu Wasa and Liam Lawson are pretty much lined up to be the next drivers for 2024 before all of this happened. But now I'm starting to think that maybe this is some kind of excuse to put Daniel in the car without upsetting the current lineup at Red Bull, the main team. But I suppose this was kind of inevitable because back in 2020, when Alpha Tauri first formed, they were basically trying to get away from the idea that effectively Toro Rosso and Alpha Tauri were the junior team to Red Bull. They wanted to be called the sister team. They shared some things, shared some intel, but other than that, they didn't really operate by the same page. They sort of went in their own directions from the same base, but it's slowly becoming more and more obvious that it's really not working. Back in 2020, they were really high up there in the constructors with, of course, Pierre Gasly getting the win at Monster in 2020. Fairy tale result. But now it's starting to deviate away more and more. And in 2022, they were ninth in the constructors. And currently, Williams is beating them. That's not something that Helmut Marco wants to see. I can understand why he might be frustrated because he's got the best team on the grid by miles. And then also, he's got the worst team on the grid. So you really need to have something that's at least sixth place because. How are you going to really get a representative time out of any potential Red Bull juniors if they're right at the back? Then we've got, of course, the news that we found out that Christian Horner didn't want to hire Nick DeVries and that it was Helmut Marco's idea all along. And now Helmut Marco's getting buyer's remorse from Nick DeVries. But once again, it's very, very clear that DeVries was just a stopgap. He was an impulse buy because he was so good at Monza. Realistically, Williams should have done a better job at keeping DeVries. Therefore, Logan Sargent could have stayed in F2 for another year, had a little bit more time to develop and cook, and therefore could have come in in 2024, be a bit more developed. But Logan is half-baked, unfortunately. And DeVries pretty much had an easy air at Williams. He probably would have had far less speculation. And yeah, I think that's pretty much the end of his Formula 1 career. And it's kind of sad, really. Helmut Marko has very much said that there's a very big amount of displeasure amongst the whole situation about Alpha Tauri being dead last. So he's now starting to bring them back to the Red Bull fold even more. But in terms of an actual name, what could it be? Red Bull Light? Red Bull Cola? Or just go back to Toro Rosso? I wouldn't be surprised if we see that name again, because it pretty much just was Red Bull, but Italian. But in terms of the actual drivers, Nick DeVries and Yuki Tsunoda, Marco was kind of like, eh, I mean, Yuki's doing all right, and Nick's trying to do his best, and he's trying to be very diplomatic after all of that 
recording from him and Horner saying that Nick DeVries was just not good at all and that it might have been a mistake getting him. So we might have a completely different lineup at this rate because Yuki has not been told, yeah, you're definitely in because he has got his contract at the end of this year. So, oh dear. Interesting. Because the team is based in Faenza in Italy. It made a lot of sense. So just call it that again. That means we can go back to that really, really cool blue, red, silver livery. That was so, so good. I mean, the first couple of AlphaTauri liveries have been really good. They've been really stylish, but I don't really see ultimately why they did it aside from trying to big up their fashion brand. But I've not seen that many people dress in AlphaTauri, you know, in terms of the actual fashion label. It's not really done much to improve that brand. So now Helmut Marco has been saying there are going to be many, 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 many more sponsors on the car. It's not going to be dominated by the AlphaTauri logo, which is pretty stylish to be fair. But other than that, it's just going to be just a conventional team. We just will essentially go back to something closer to Red Bull, Toro Rosso. Alpha Tauri is also going to be having a new team leader in Lauren Mekis, who comes from Ferrari because Franz Tost, the pretty much bastion of the Alpha Tauri Minarda Group Toro Rosso day, was now planning to retire. And now he pretty much has been saying a lot of things because you know, he can. What, what's Marco going to do? Fire him because he's going to retire. The whole thing with Mick Schumacher being potentially Alpha Tauri candidate and Marco snubbed him and stuff like that. It's just, there's a lot of messy things going on at the Red Bull group right now. But at the moment, we are now actually seeing that instead of all the speculation of Alpha Tauri being sold to Andretti, we're now seeing something completely different. We're now seeing Alpha Tauri changing its name again for the second time in what, like three, four years? I mean, this is going to be very interesting. Comment down below what you think the name's going to be. I'm going to get back to that.